Hey everybody, welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel! It's Wednesday, and you know what that means. Time to react to more Duel Live matches and commence the learning, y'all! Last time, or I guess to be more accurate to the show's last month, previously on... That thing I just said. Oh, uh, we saw freaking Exodia summoned. Like, holy crap, that was dope. Exodia FTK, like, mind-blowing. Yeah, there was, like, some Dragon Link BS, and it's like, ah, oh, yeah, cool. But freaking Exodia! Holy crap, you never know what you're gonna get on this dual live thing. You never know! Just never know. Um, this game is, uh, gonna go into maintenance... ...fairly soon, like, when this is recorded. Like, a day from now. Day and a half, when it goes up, probably like a full on like 12 hours maybe? Uh, or something like that. But uh, we're getting ready for the good old... Or I guess not old, the the new, the new new, the, the, the Exes event. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited for it. I'm very, very excited for it. Like... I, I don't know what to expect from it. You know? Extra decks can only contain Xyz monsters. This event has a limited regulation, which I think some people are speculating that... Uh... There's gonna be a new format. Coming? Maybe? Don't know? Like, because a lot of people are like, Oof, Eldritch doesn't give a damn about their extra deck. So it doesn't matter what they run in it. Hopefully Eldritch and those Eldritch cards are... Forbidden, and like, hopefully there's a new format, but this could just also mean... You can't run, like, three Gustav Maxes and three Liebs and, like, three Utopia Draco Futures. That's probably what it means. But I'm excited for it, because, uh... It, it's, it's, a new, it's new. It's new content to the game, and... You earn medals for each duel, and I'm assuming you can cash those medals in for, like... Free rewards? I don't know, well, let's see. But, uh, that's... That's Saturday and Sunday's videos. Today is Wednesday. Or at least it's Tuesday for now, but we win this. You know, you understand. Let's a go. Let's see if we can get. Uh, hopefully, we can start learning again. Like we learned Tri Lyric, we got that down. Uh, like yeah, Exodia being summoned first turn is fun. Um, wow. All right, first off the bat, trap tricks. I've seen videos on this, and it seems very, very interesting, and very, um... Uh... Budget-friendly, it seems. Not a lot of URs, not a lot of SRs. But still, a very back-row-heavy deck. Um... So... Alright, so our side, Duelist B, who is a Platinum player, you can see by the border around their avatar. Uh... Trap Tricks, alright. We go first, play that, immediately gone to summon out, I'm assuming, the big trap tricks. Sarah, yeah. Bro oh, that was a very fast turn, but that's, I think that's basically how it's gonna go, right? From what I understand, trap tricks are very good at, uh, they're not affected by trap hole cards, like void trap hole. When you saw uh, your opponent special summons a monster with 2,000 or more attack, negate the effect of one of those monsters with 2,000 more attack, and if you do, destroy it. They cannot be affected by those, which doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me, because those... The Trap Tricks decks I've seen run those cards, and not a lot of people play Trap Tricks. So I guess, if it's a... That's gotta be the most confusing... Mirror match, just because like, ah, my cards aren't affected by your cards, and vice versa. Tits, how do we get over this? Um... Very f short and sweet first turn. Literally... Summon Trap Tricks, Dianea. Again, unaffected by whole, unaffected by whole uh, trap cards. When it's normal summon, you get to target one in your graveyard. Oops, don't have that first turn. You special summon that, uh, and when this one special summon, you can target one normal whole trap in your graveyard. Set that target, but banish it at the end of the next turn. Uh, a neat little card. A neat little card, but uh, oops, didn't spend much time. Uh, you got Trap Trick Sarah on the field. Unaffected by trap cards, just at all. I've seen a lot of decks run, um, 
Torrential Tribute because this card is unaffected by it. Uh, you can only use the effect uh, once per turn and not during the damage up. That's odd that that's specific. For normal trap cards activate. You can special summon one trap tricks monster from your deck with a different name than the cards you control. If your other trap tricks monster are activated, uh, I guess like special summon and summon things, set one whole trap card from your deck. Chart Suite, we set Void Trapple and Compulsory ex uh, Excavation Device, Evacuation Device, I can never remember that name. And then th that's the end, what are, we, what, uh, what, what are we playing against? Uh, that helps me not, but I'm gonna go, yeah, oof, big oof. Uh, I'm gonna say Eldritch, maybe? One thing I've learned is, uh, from people just saying it, uh, Pot of Extravagance users, you gotta watch out for them, because they do not give a flying fuck about their extra deck zone. So, it's L- ooh, what the flying fuck card, card D. Wow, oh god, wow. Yada, whoa, hold up. There's things happening here. Alright, we gotta look at this. This is a this is a spicy turn. Uh Pot of E. Banish, 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 banish. Get fucked, says Ash Blossom. Um Set 3. Card card D. Cannot be special summoned during your main phase one. If this card was normal summoned this turn, you contribute this card, draw two, then it becomes the end phase. Cannot be special summoned during the event you activate the turn. What the hell? What is the point outside of just like, here's Pot of D, Pot of Greed, but card form? It got Jettison back, and because it, uh, Trap Card activated, Sarah activated, and Special Summon Trap Tricks, uh, Marmelio. I should just do this, because it's a better way, and I can actually, like, crop out photos and use those for title cards. Uh, unaffected by holes, yep, that's just Trap Tricks. When it's normal summon, add one ho normal hole, ma uh, hole trap from your deck to your hand. If this card is special summon, target one spell or trap and destroy it. In which, um, the legacy of Yadagarasu was hit, which is draw one. Are we trying to get Exodia here? Because there's a lot of draw cards. Uh, yeah. Draw one, activate only if your opponent controls a face up spirit monster, draw two. Nobody runs spirits, so it's only one. Uh, and they. This card is dirty, I think. When your opponent activates a monster effect in their hand or graveyard, or when your opponent's banished monster effect is activated, negate its effect, and if you do, inflict 2,000 damage. If that's face down and they activate, like, Maxi or... Uh... Ash Blossom or something like that, you activate this, nuh -uh, take 2,000. That's a spicy card. Trap Tricks is a spicy deck, I'm, I'm very interested in it. It's just like I'm trying to build other stuff. Legacy Yacht, second copy of Yadagarasu. All right, spicy turns are happening. Oops, that is a big oofer. What, oh my God. We're gonna have to go through this one by one. Cause they're linking and, and all this, 2000 damage, Yadagarasu. Legacy of the Kings, okay. Let's go through, let's go through that, because that was a big one. Okay, so. Our boy, Duelist B, activate Temple of the Kings. You activate one trap, you set this turn, it's a continuous spell, so that's neat. Uh, you can send one Mystical Beast of Circuit. Oh god, it's this card. In your monster zone, and this card to the grave, you're supposed to summon one monster from your hander deck, or one fusion from your extra deck, you can only use it once per turn. God, what is Odeon here? Jesus Christ. In response, Legacy Yadagrasu activates. And then in response to that, Curry Photon, I'm guess I'm gonna guess fearing another Ash Blossom, because they chain blocked. I believe that's what it's called. I'm learning. Uh Curry Photon. You can set this card from your hand deck, pay two thousand life points, you take no damage this turn. If this card is in your graveyard, you can send one Photon monster from your hand or graveyard, except Photon, Curry Photon, add this card from your graveyard to your hand. Okay, it's a Photon card, I'm gonna keep that in the back of my mind in case I make a Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon deck. So that happened, 
they pay two thousand. Nuh uh uh. Says Gravedigger's Trap Hole. Negate it. Two thousand damage to you, sir. Accumulated fortune. Activate only as a chain link or four uh four of higher. Draw two cards. Cannot activate this card if multiple card effects of the same name are in the chain. Okay. And then draw, 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 curry photon effect, and uh, trap tricks is about, Sarah is about to go off. Okay. What's coming out? Alomaris. Discard one, get one back. Effect activates, so Sarah activates to set, bring out one trap tricks. Or, yeah, or one hole. Dynea activates battle phase 800. That is game. Trap Tricks is a disgusting deck. I actually think I would, might enjoy it. Um. Okay, so. Uh. Sarah's effect activated. You know, you can spell uh, normal card, special summon one. If another trap effect is activated, you set one whole normal trap. That's what happened. She set, um, yeah, she special summoned, uh, Nephen Nephenthus. Nepenthus? What is names? Uh, unaffected by holes. If you activate a whole normal trap card, except during damage step, you can add to your hand or special summon one trap trick from your deck. You only do this once per turn. Doesn't matter. Uh, we... Exes fusioned... Alomaris? Al Alomaris. Al Alomaris. Plant lady. Insect lady. She's an insect. Every other one is... Plant. Okay. Two or more level four monsters. Unaffected by trap. Affects while it, it has material. That's different than Sarah. You only activate one per turn. Detach two materials from this card, special summon one level four insect or plant monster from your grave. If your opponent's monsters leave the field because of your card effect and is now in the graveyard or banished, detach one material from that of this card and target one of them special summon to your field. Okay, obviously use the first effect to bring back uh, Marmelio. And special summon Dianea. We didn't bring, didn't bring back, yeah, sent Marmelio detaches material to bring back Dianea. Uh, set trap hole, another digger's trap hole, and then murder happened. All right. Trap tricks is currently a gold two, but obviously hit platinum because of the thing around the thing. And we got a gold four. All right. I wish I could run into interesting decks like trap tricks and whatever the hell the other person was playing. Uh, trap tricks have, have piqued my interest after seeing that. So I might have to look up decks, see what's around, and uh, see see if I can make one, craft one. I don't know. Uh, that will do it for this episode. Like I said, the weekend videos are probably going to be about the festival. If I enjoy it or not. I don't know, um, very little information has gotten out by way of Konami. Uh, I know more about the event due to leaks than I do, uh, this little thing. Um, doing the event, gather metal, the more medals you get, the more awesome rewards you can earn. Hopefully it's not a busted ass rewards, and hopefully it's like, I would like, I don't know, here's some free packs of cards, like special edition, like, themed car, uh, themed packs, and like, Here's a mate, here's a, a card back, you know, nothing over the top, not like, here's Exodia. Uh, we'll have to see though, it hasn't happened yet, it's still like a day and a half away. Uh, 2.30 in the morning, uh, apparently after, or uh, during the, the server maintenance, they're gonna be adding new shit to the, the shop, including like, I think a couple packs of cards and a booster box or structure deck. Again, have have to wait to see. Um, time to receive rewards is a two-day span after the event. Rewards cannot be claimed once the allotted time has passed. Do not forget to collect your rewards that aren't claimed automatically. Starting time is f for this may be delayed depending on the maintenance completed. Uh, extra deck only exceeds materials can be used. 
event has a limit uh, limit regulation, which God knows what that means. People are speculating, like I said, maybe there's a different format, a different ban list, who knows. Uh, during the event, you can duel with the same rule set within duel rooms, that's pretty neat. Uh, metal information, medals are claimed at the end of each duel. You can immediately gain rewards corresponding to the number of medals you earned. Again, we have to wait and see what those maybe disappointing rewards are. Hopefully they're not disappointing, hopefully they're really cool. Uh, earn, you can earn medals whether you win, lose, or draw, that's excellent. Um, I'm assuming you earn more if you win. Also a draw can happen in this game, I forgot about that. Earn double medals by using your own original deck. Ha 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 Joke on you, I don't have one. Um, I, ju I just don't, man. You've given me, like, no resource to create my own original deck. Using only X's materials. Oopies. Uh, you will not earn any medals if you surrender the duel. Fight on to the very end! So, um, that earn double medals by using your own original deck goes to point to the leak of- Oh, you could- Rent a deck, which I'm probably gonna do because again, um, pull back the veil here. Look at how many decks I have now 17 of them. Uh, I, I, I got back on my bullshit and doing a lot of double ones, just like here's budget, here's not budget. Um, prank kids, no go. Uh, my Eldritch deck. I could probably turn into that. The hero deck is not completed. Cyber Dragon deck definitely doesn't ha have all of them. They would literally have Nova, two Novas, and two Infinities. That ain't it. Uh, Sky Strikers, no. Bright Furs, no. Phantoms, no. Virtual World could maybe get away with it, but not really. They have a uh, True King of Calamity. So that, like, uh, that's not really worth it, though. Just, like, uh, I don't know. Like, no, this not, I, don't, I have nothing. I really have nothing, so I'm probably gonna have to rent a deck. The hope, the hope of the highest of hopes. Um, um, is that it doesn't cost gems to, to make. Like, I'm just, I'm just hoping, 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 hoping that, um, I don't have to waste gems to rent a deck. That would be neat. Yeah, that would be Stu freaking Pendus. Yeah, this deck also doesn't work with Ixies because the whole point is to bring out, uh, True King. Can't do that if you don't have level 9s, and uh, the only way to get to level 9s is to synchro. If we get a synchro challenge, this deck is probably gonna be good. But I ain't got none, so I'm gonna have to rent a deck. Again, hopefully it doesn't cost gems, that's so stupid. If that's the case, uh, I'm probably not gonna be playing much of the event. Uh, but we'll see. It's still a lot that they haven't really said. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, super kick that like button, check out my channel for more videos I have done. If you like what we see, hit the subscribe button. And until next time, goodbye.